Alia. Hi. I'm so happy to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm great. That's great. So tell me more about the experiment. So my experiment is about a protein called heat shock protein. Mm -hmm. These proteins protect the body from radiation um, and like excessive heat and uh, chemical factors as well. So I want to see if radiation will be one of them and microgravity in space. So for a lay person like me, like layman, and in, in very simple, simple terms, let's break it down. <laughs> you're trying to protect the body from the inside as opposed to the outside. Definitely. And you're trying to make it that if one day we end up living in Mars, we don't have to wear the suits all the time. Exactly. So how, do you, how did that concept develop in your mind, the concept that you know what, I want to protect the body from the inside out. What did you do that triggered that? To, you know, the, the, the cellular, the, the basic cell that when somebody leaves planet Earth and is in space, that their the radiation doesn't get to them, that they are protected. I was very interested in Mars and I was looking up what, you know, how every invention comes from a problem. And one of the problems that we will be facing once we go to Mars is radiation. And so that's something, and microgravity as well. And so that's something that I wanted to um, solve so that I will be able to go there one day. So explain microgravity, because nobody ever was smart. <laughs> of course. Um, so microgravity is, um, you know, how here on Earth we live in gravity. Gravity holds us down, Correct. keeps our bones strong. Yes. Um, you know, we don't, we're not floating around, basically. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> um, but on Mars, the gravity is less than what it is here on Earth. And so, um, you know, our bones aren't going to be as strong as um, we are here on Earth because of the microgravity. And that's just one. So is it example. almost like a lack of gravity? Yeah, basically. Right. So you want to be an astronaut? Yeah. And it's not just, I want to be an astronaut because I want to grow up. You really yeah. want to be an astronaut. I really want to be an astronaut. And what makes me sad is that some people think that, you know, being an astronaut is like a kid saying, I want to be a princess. I want to, you know, these like... They take it for granted, Yeah, right? I want to be a fairy. It's the same thing as saying I want to be an astronaut. Yeah, because it's almost like impossible. Impossible, exactly. So then you, you heard of this um, competition, right? Yeah. What is it called? Genes in Space. So, Genes of Space, is this a new competition in the UAE or has it been going on for many, many years? Um, it's a new competition in the UAE. It's been done before, um, twice, before okay. um, it was the first time in the UAE. But this was your first time to enter yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Um, and it was in the US before. Did you just hear about the competition and you created it or this was way before you heard of the actual um, competition? Um, I guess it was after the competition when I started looking for, I for an idea. Okay. And um, I was looking for something, as I said, because um, I love Mars so much and I want to go there, so immediately... So you linked it to yeah, Mars. Yeah, I linked it to Mars, becoming an astronaut, radiation, microgravity, bam. Right. There you go, yeah. So it's almost like fast track. Yeah. And then they actually took your experiment to space. Yeah. And you watched that happen. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if it, you know, mind my ignorance, because this is your forte, but did they actually go 10, 9, 8, 7? Oh, yeah. They definitely. did? Definitely, they did. It's it always been everybody's dream to watch, you know, yeah, a shuttle and, go, a um, launch. Yeah. Um, I was standing on a rooftop right. with my mentor, yeah. who I've gotten really close friends with, um, and my sister, who was also standing right by my side, and we were counting down, I was holding both their hands, while I was like, <laughs> oh my god, that's... That's your experiment? That's my experiment. In a space shuttle. I mean, it's, it's mind-boggling. Yeah. yeah, it was in uh, a SpaceX rocket, which, you know, the patch here. Right. How do you stay grounded? Like, you know, you went from, I've never heard of your name, to she's all over the newspaper. Even yeah. like Teens Vogue. And you have like, you know, many interviews that have happened or many lined up. So mm -hmm. you have become like a UAE celebrity for space. You know, yeah. it's really great. How do you handle that? How do you stay grounded? Um, I feel like, you know, it, it could be a bit hard because I did not sign up for that. I signed up for sci science, uh, but there's also something else that comes with it, and it's the responsibility that you have more young people watching you through these um, media, uh, social media um, applications, yes. and they're, they're watching what you do, and um, it's my job to try to inspire them through what I did, and uh, it's my job that I have to um, make sure that there are others that are going to win other competitions and raise the UAE f uh, flag high. So yeah. you created it, you went to, um, you know, you won it, and then you actually went to NASA, the big N-word. Yeah. yeah. So how is it? How is NASA? NASA is amazing. Um, you know, to see a space program that is so advanced and 
um, learning so much about them and coming back um, to you know serve my country is is a great responsibility. And so going there and representing my own country, I had to talk about some of our space programs back here in the UAE. Um, and representing my country is a so like a space big ambassador yeah. for us, basically. Oh, <laughs> that's so amazing. That's so amazing. I, I wish you all the success in the world. Thank and then so maybe much. in the future, I'll be on a telephone call and you'll be calling me from Mars without a suit because yeah. you discovered a solution. Hopefully, yeah. That will save us all from radiation. That would be great. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks so much, Ayo. No problem. That's with your future. Thank you. <laughs>